Hey, Kent from Helion Film here. Welcome to my channel. Here I will be showing you occasional tips and tricks on video editing and other tech. Hit like and subscribe to never miss a video. Today I will be creating these cool looking end credits inside DaVinci Resolve. Stick around and I will show you how. First a little bit of context. I am a video creator and have been for 20 years. I have been using Premiere for all my daily editing needs. That's until about 4 years ago when I switched to DaVinci Resolve. Premiere was way too unstable and I didn't want to pay the monthly subscription to keep it running when I could buy DaVinci Resolve Studio outright and get all the juicy updates for free for life. DaVinci Resolve is great. And if you only need the basic editing functionality, it's free. Let's look at the topic of this tutorial. By comparison, let's first see how Premiere Pro CS 5.5 handles scrolling credits. First add a new title. Then you make it roll and click to start and end off screen. Now you can place the text where and how you want and edit them as you please. It's so easy in Premiere Pro. If you attempt the same in Resolve, you're out of luck. Let's add a new timeline and see how it goes. In the Effects panel, you'll find the scrolling title. The text is treated as one single text. There is no way of arranging the text side by side. And if you try to edit just a part of the text, everything is affected. This is what I've come up with. We'll delete the text and start over. Add the scrolling title from the effects panel and stretch it out. Add a line of stars. I'll come back to why in a minute. Hit enter a few times to write the text a line or two above the stars. To fit my text, I'll write a few lines further down to make room above. Now I'll copy and paste the left column text. Make sure the snapping tool is activated, as shown. Hold ALT and drag the text to the layer above to make a copy. Highlight the new layer, delete the text and paste in the text for the right column. Don't delete the stars. Disable the Video 2 layer. 
highlight video 1 and align the text to the right as shown. Activate video 2 instead and align the text to the left as shown. Activate both tracks and change the X position in settings so they line up. Mark both tracks and set the font size to 45. When the stars line up and the two tracks has the exact same length, the credits will be in perfect sync. Now to have room for some more text, hit enter several times to move the stars down. Do the same on both tracks, so the stars again line up. Again, hold ALT and copy video 2 to video track 3. Make sure the snapping tool is still active. Delete the text, not the stars. Paste the new text and align to center, as shown. The stars does not line up on all three tracks, so the sync is off. Hit enter on the text on track 1 and 2 to line up the stars. Move the video 3 text down to make it fit. Again, align the stars to sync up. Adjust the text as you please and again align the stars to sync up. As the cherry on top, change the color on the left column.
It's not exactly what I showed you in the beginning of the video, but you get the picture. To finish, delete the stars. Well guys, I know it's not the best way of making end credits, but at least it can be done without fusion. And for sure, it's one of the features I'd like Resolve to approve upon. I hope you learned something new. Please remember to smash the like and subscribe button and ring the bell so other people can find the video. I'll see you in the next one.